Sorry, guys, talk amongst yourselves. I'll be back on in a minute once I've got this damn tech working. I think it's working. And then we can begin. Right, that's it, done. I think it's done. I'm cracking on anyway. Brilliant. Okay, I've got the thumbs up from Calm. We are going to go ahead. So let me share my screen. And we will start. So I did actually manage to do this once on uh, Monday. And it went down really well. So it is a good class. And I hope you all enjoy it. So let's crack on. Oh, hang on. I can't see the chat. Let me get the chat up. There we are. There's the chat. Just so you know, though. And by the way, hello, Facebook. Hello. Uh, this is my How to Create a Consistent Income class with me, Gemma Went, if you've not ever seen me before. Um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to take you through this training. Um, for you guys on Facebook, if you have questions, if you could save them till the end and then put comments in, uh, because I'm going to try and focus on going through all of the training first. Um, because there's a lot to get through. And if I stop for questions, we'll never get through it all. Same to you guys on the webinar. So I've got your chat in front of me. Um, if you have questions, can you scribble them down? Um, and then we'll have a Q&A at the end and you can ask me any of this stuff. All right, so let's crack on. So what I'm covering today, uh, quick intro to me, how to create offers aligned to yours and your clients' needs how to design revenue streams that create a consistent monthly income, how to map out your monthly income to reach your big, big financial goal. And I'm going to introduce you to the Elevate Mastermind, which is my new business baby that I, oh, I'm so pleased with it. I'm, I'm absolutely delighted. So I'm just going to talk you through that because that can help you with this stuff. All right. As I said, I'm going to have a Q&A session at the end. So if you can hold your questions till then. The reason I do that if you've watched any of my webinars before, is I can just go off topic so easily. So if you ask me a question, I'll go down a rabbit hole and then I won't get back to this training and then it won't be nice for anyone. So that's why I say that. Um, and if you stick around until the bitter end, because I appreciate anyone doing that, particularly in the evening, you can get your hands on my income planner spreadsheet, which I'm going to be talking about as part of this. So if you are, yeah, what I'm gonna do, cause I'm gonna have people on Facebook as well as in the webinar, I've got a link to it. So at the end, I'm gonna share the link for all of you guys that are still around and you can have a copy of that. Okay, so this is perfect for you if you've been running a service-based business for a little while now, but you've not quite created that success that you dream of yet. And you would really love to create consistent monthly income in your business to start to bring those dreams to life. And that can be your business dreams and your personal dreams. I really believe the two are completely interlinked. Um, this is for you if you're sick of the feast and famine cycle. And oh my God, I talk about this a little bit later on. That's why I really started focusing on consistent income. That's what I needed to do at the beginning of my business because I couldn't cope with that stress. You know, that horrible feeling in your stomach when you don't know how much money is coming in the next month. So this was kind of like my holy grail to grow my business. And it's been the same ever since. So I'm talking you through everything that I've done, basically, to have consistent income. Yeah, if you're sick of that feeling, that panic, that ugh, horrible feeling. And you're also, if you're sick of looking at your peers and wondering why the hell they seem to have it all worked out. And you might not think that you do. But first of all, let's introduce you to me. So I'm a business and mindset mentor and I'm a deliverer of dreams because that's my passion. I work with pre and post six figure business owners, helping them to create the impact and the income that they crave. Again, the two are really closely linked for me. And I do this by using my proven business framework, the MSA approach, which if you've seen anything of mine recently, I've been banging on about this for ages. It's super, super important. Um, I've helped over 500 small business owners to bring their dreams to life. I've been featured in entrepreneur.com, the Times, the Guardian, the BBC, and lots of others. And I've also worked with lots of big brands and corporates before I decided to get my mitts on small business owners, because that's where my passion lies. So the kind of people were um, Universal, BBC, Wagamama, Soap and Glory, Foster's Wash, Channel 4, Crew Clothing, and lots more. All right, now for the important stuff. I've got a really terrible memory. <laughs> That's why I say, give me your questions at the end. I'll forget where I am. And also, 
this is my excuse for having a PowerPoint that's really full of text. It just makes sure that I cover everything that is important that I don't want you to miss because otherwise I will just forget what I have to say. So apologies in advance. My core value is integrity, which makes me really honest and quite shockingly honest, um, gets me into trouble sometimes. Uh, I cry when my clients smash their goals. I'm a little bit soft, really. Um, and there's nothing better. It's why I do it. It's why I do it. They quite like me crying as well. Me. Um, I have an unusual obsession with cheese. I probably eat it every day. Um, and my mission is to help small business owners create the same level of success as me. Now, it doesn't mean the same success as me. Like success is different for all of us, right? We all have different dreams. We all have different ideas of what success is, but I want them to reach the same kind of level where they're smashing it out of the park, where they are reaching the success, the dreams that they want. For me, that makes me feel amazing. So that's, that's my mission. That's why I do this. All right, some cold, hard results for you. Um, these, and this is just kind of like proof of how I did it um, and that I know what I'm talking about. So this is what I've done for myself. Obviously, I've done this for other clients as well, but I can't share their figures because it's confidential. So this is my business growth. I started five years ago in 2013. Um, and our, my baby was just born and he was three months old. And I was staying in my friend's single room because I had to start this business. I didn't have a job. Um, and we were working two to three days a week. And I started on about 70K a year was my total income for that year. In year two, that went up 10K. So I brought in 80K working three days a week, still with my little one-year-old baby. Tiny list, not a lot on Facebook. So I really started from zero. Year three is where it all started to take off for me. And I started to really focus on my mindset. I joined Lucky Bitch Bootcamp, which some of you might hear me talking about quite a lot, which really focuses on your money mindset. And I had no idea how much that was affecting me, um, but I joined it and it made a massive difference to me and in all other areas, not just um, money mindset. And it, mindset became a real focus. Now, mindset has always been a focus for me. I actually studied psychology at university. I wanted to become a therapist. So I do have a psychology degree. So I've always been very, very interested in what goes on in our minds and our needs and our wants and our desires. And that's driven everything that I've always done. But I didn't apply it to my work as much before that year. And in 2015, I really started to focus on it because I was focusing on my own. And I hit the almighty six figures. Um, and I started to really kind of build my list and my my online presence, but it wasn't massive still. Right? I hit six figures with only a list of 800 people and 900 people on Facebook. I had about 9000 on Twitter, but please ignore that. It's a big number, but they weren't very relevant. They were kind of like from my old days of working in agencies. They weren't really relevant to what I was doing. So I didn't have um, I didn't have all the big figures. So all the people saying that you need a massive list and all of these people on Facebook and, and Instagram and so on. Not so much. You don't have to. You really don't have to. And I'm proof of that. Um, year four was where things really took off for me. And I started because I'd done that mindset work. I then was able to recognize where else I needed help. Um, so I started to invest in coaches. I had a massive fear of visibility. Huge. I would never do things like this ever, ever, ever. It would make me physically sick. Um, so I really worked on that went deep, did loads of mindset work, worked with different coaches, and it really propelled me forward. And that's when I think I really stepped into my leadership and where I wanted to be. Uh, got my income up to 160k, really started growing my list then 2000 on in my list and 1500 on Facebook, I started my group, my Simply Smart Business group, just before that, actually, and started to really grow it. And then last year, things really started to take off. So 240k, working full time at this point, bigger list, bigger community on social media, and really thinking about scaling. Now this year, my hope and my big goal is still half a million. I'm still working towards that, which just feels amazing. And my plan is to scale and scale my business. So every, these are my results, right? And these, everything that I've done to get here is what I teach. Um, and that's what I teach to my clients. And that's what I teach in here today. Um, and I spoke earlier about my MSA approach. This is it if you haven't seen it. Everything for me, I've mentioned mindset already, but everything for me is really based around mindset strategy and action. You need all three 
to get business success. And I am a mistress of each of them. I love them. I have my own kind of frameworks for each of them. So in mindset, I have my mindset shift strategy, which is not easy to say at this time of night. The belief matrix, the blockbuster, all frameworks that I really use to help build that success mindset. Because it's not easy. But once you get that, everything else is a lot easier. In strategy, we've got my business strategy framework, the smart marketing system and my launch framework, all of which help you to build a really good, aligned, sustainable strategy that's right for you and right for your business. It's going to help you grow. And it looks at all of the important elements. So positioning, who you are selling to, what you sell them, pricing frameworks, your product and service roadmap, how you go out to market how you market that, how you then convert that into sales, all of the kind of systems you need in your business. So it covers off the business essentials and you need all of that stuff to build a sustainable business and grow in the way that I have. And then finally, action, right? That none of this works unless you take inspired action. So it's all about taking the right action, not faffing around on Facebook all day, not doing the right things. It's about understanding what action you need to take to move your business forward and reach your goals and bring your dreams to life. And it's that inspired action that I'm really talking about and what I teach. So that's how I do it. Um, and I've kind of, I've been doing that over the last five years. And over the last year, I've kind of brought that into my actual framework and named it the MSA approach, which I rather like. All right, let's get on to the training. So, first of all, I want to talk about how to create aligned offers. Now, most people focus on creating offers that are right for your customer, which is super, super important, right? Super, super important. But we also need to focus on what's right for you. And I think people miss this part of the jigsaw because you need to be considering how much time you actually have available to work with clients. And I know this because in my early days, when I was sitting on a bed, bed with a baby on my boob, trying to grow this business, there was only so much time I had and, the, and only, only certain ways I could do the work. So you need to be super feasible about that and really understand that. You need to think about, is this something that you can do online? Or is it something that you have to do face to face? You need to think about what length of time works best for you. So what length of time working with clients? Can you only squeeze in sort of um, short sessions with people because you've got other commitments? Or do you want to work people long time? So you've got that kind of commitment. So, you know, you might want to work with people sort of four, five, six months, whatever that is. So really thinking about what length of time suits you as well. And finally, and really important, what do you love doing? Like really thinking about, what is the kind of thing that lights you up? What do you love doing? Because your offers, what you do should be absolutely aligned with that. Because then it's fun to do it, right? Like then you actually enjoy it. There's no point doing this stuff and having the balls to create your own business, which it does take balls. And I take my hat off to anyone that does it. Um, there's no point doing that unless you really love it, unless you really enjoy it. Like what's the point? You might as well work for someone else if you don't love it. So thinking about, offers and things that you you sell that you love super important so starting with that first for me and then have all of this in mind before you design those perfect offers for your clients because this will help to drive what those are as well <clears throat> because if you don't you could come up with some great offers for your clients but you're unable to fulfill them because they don't fit with you or you don't like doing them and I see this a lot. I see this a lot with clients that come to me who they've just kind of stuck and they don't really like what they're doing and they don't quite know why. And it's because they've gone out with offers that aren't really aligned to them. So they don't like doing it. If we don't like doing it, we won't do it. It's that simple. Okay. So once you have a good idea of what's going to work really well for you, then you really need to dig into what your customer needs. So you need to do some people profiling. So without this, we really don't have any idea of what problems we're solving or what dreams we're bringing to life. So we really need to understand what's going on with our people um, so that we can align all of our offers with those. Uh, because we are solutions providers before anything else. Like we are providing a solution to something all of us, no matter what our business. So really kind of getting into that mindset when you're creating the office helps with that. 
So to do that really super well, we need to understand what those problems are that we're solving. And we're also, we need to understand the dreams that we're bringing to life for those customers we want to work with. And we need to do that really super, super well. Um, and that means really understanding those people that we want to help. So getting clear on who those people are and you can niche or not. I'm, I, I'm not one of those people that's all about, you have to find your ICA. It's about, you know, finding the people you want to work with and just understanding them. Um, and and it's, it's less about what kind of person they are and who they read, more about what's going on inside because those are the things that really drive them. And those are the things that will make them want to buy. So really thinking about what their biggest pain points are, what the problems are that they're suffering with right now that you can be solving. What, not just that. So I don't think it's just about pain points and problems. I think it's about passions and dreams thinking about what they lust after as well. Because, you know, on one side, we're solving problems, but on another side, we're bringing dreams to life. And you can do both of those things with your offers and with your clients. Um, so really think about that. And, you know, I really believe that, yes, people are driven by problems and needing to solve them, having this urge to solve them and, and remove that pain. But I also think people are super, super driven by their dreams. And if you show them that you understand their dream and you show them a way to get there simply with you, I think there's a massive drive towards that. So you can talk about that as well. And I think those connect, connect more emotionally as well. Um, and it's also about understanding what they want their life to be like after that. So thinking about when that problem is solved or when they've got that dream, what does life look like for them? And really understanding the implications of that and the benefits of that and what that looks like, feels like, tastes like, everything. Just really understanding that. Because once you understand that, you can talk about that and you can paint that picture and take them to that place when you're selling your thing. Um, and also understanding what life is like for them now. So what's their before story, before they work with you and you solve their problem or you bring their dream to life? What is life like now? Um, and then also what life is like after. So like I said, after the dream, after the problem is solved, understanding the differences between those two, the before and the after, because you wanna to say to them, you know, I understand the before and I'm gonna take you to the after. And you wanna build out products and services that do just that in a really simple, easy way. Okay, so once you've done all of that, you've done that people profiling, you have quite a lot of data right? So you can use that data to design the offers you think will solve those problems or bring those dreams to life. And then once you have that, you have a bit of an outline of products or services you want to go out with. You have some ideas around that. You have some ideas about how it can connect with them, what problems it solves, what dreams it brings to life. Then you can start to research the market and get even more insight. So what you want to do is look at your competitors and peers um, and have a look if your offer is already out there, which it normally is, right? So don't get downhearted if like everyone else is selling the same thing that you've just come up with. Because if they're selling the thing that you've just come up with, it means there's a demand for it. So yay, that's good. Um, so having a look at who is offering it already and really understanding what their offers are, what product or service is it? What do they include in that? And using the insight that you already have about your customer and about you and knowing your strengths and how you do this thing, you can try to spot any gaps. So that's really about um, looking to see if there's anything there that they're not offering already, that might not be out there already, but you can do that thing. It might be something that, that's really special to you. Uh, what you can do to add even more value that nobody else is doing yet. And this can really help you to stand out in that marketplace. So all you're doing is you're researching them just to understand how yours can be better. And it's a really simple thing to do. And sometimes it's the tiniest tweak of a thing, an idea, something that you can add into it that will, um, that will make your thing stand out and make people more likely to buy it. So it's un uncovering your secret sauce and adding it to it. Then with all of this insight, you can then design offers that align with how you want to work, what your customer needs, what the market needs, 
and what will make you stand out. And then when you got that, boom, like those things are so much easier to sell than anything else. And it gets, when you do that kind of work, it gets these kind of results. These are two of my clients. Sonia said, the desperation is suddenly gone. Everything is included in a way that's clear and doable. No stone is left unturned. That really helped her to get clear on her office and what she was taking out. Kirsty said, your structure and systems are making so much sense to me and make me feel like it's all totally achievable. Goodbye, overwhelm. So these processes, these things that help you to work out what you're doing with your clients and what you're offering really help. And they help you as well, like removing that desperation, removing that overwhelm, making you super clear on what you're taking out to market. All right, let's move on to how to design um, revenue streams that create consistent income. So we already know now what some of our amazing offers might be, right? We might have some ideas. So now we want to think about, okay, how can I create consistent income with those products and services? Because this is the holy grail, right? We've got the offer. It sounds amazing. We know everyone wants to buy it. How can I make sure that that thing that I've come up with gives me consistent income? So this is the next piece of the puzzle. All right. So as I mentioned earlier, creating consistent income was really important to me when I first started out because I couldn't cope with that stress of not knowing what money was coming in. I was a single mom with no other income. I was staying in my friend's spare room. It was a really tough, tough time. So knowing what was coming in was super essential to me because, you know, I was, I planned to earn enough money to rent my first home with my son, um, which we did when he was nine months. Um, and so I needed to know the, the rent was coming in. I needed to know I had money for bottles and food and all the other stuff. And it was super, super important because I had nothing else coming in. So consistent income was my goal right from the start. And that's kind of how I've grown my business. So really what I found is there are four key things to think about when creating consistent monthly income. Three kind of ways of doing it, if you like. So number one is retainers, which I kind of started out with. I'm going to talk about that a little bit in a minute. Um, number two, payment plans, which is kind of a massive feature in my stuff now. Number three, memberships and subscriptions. Memberships, all the rage, they work very well for this. Um, and then number four, marketing and evergreen funnels, bringing in consistent leads and converting them on automatic. So I'm gonna talk about each, all four of those things. You don't have to have all four of those things, by the way. You can kind of mix and match and pick one or pick two or pick three or however many you want. Um, but yeah, those are the things that really work for this. All right, number one, retainers. So when I first started out, I wasn't working so much as a business consultant and I was working as a consultant to brands, uh, specifically a kind of digital consultant to brands and corporates. And what I did was I worked out that, okay, well, working on one-off projects in that scenario wasn't working for me because it took, there was a massive lead time. So I would, um, I would pitch for something and then they might not tell me if they if they wanted me to start for like six weeks or two months later. And that was like that, that I couldn't work like that. Plus, once I did work with them, some of them had like 60 and 90 day payment terms on their invoices. It was like that just did not work for me. So what I wanted to do was work out what services I could offer that they would retain and pay me a monthly fee. Uh, so that was the first thing that I did when I was offering that. Um, so the kind of things that I did, obviously it's different business to business, right? But the kind of things that I did, I did monthly reviews of um, their digital work, of their digital strategy, of their, their digital activity. And I would give them a report and I would give them improvement suggestions. I did monthly training and support of their, their staff. So I did a lot of that. Um, I had a retained team, so I would have like social media managers or other people that were working for me that worked for my clients for a fee, like, and then we would have a set uh, retained period for like six months or something. Um, so that worked really well. So thinking about what you could offer that could be retained over time is a really nice way of doing it. And I used to do it over either six months or 12 months, and it worked super, super, super well. All right, payment plans. This is really what I offer now. And this is the core part of my own um, consistent income. Every offer that I have has a monthly payment plan. And I do offer pay in full, 
um, for the people that really want it. But I actually prefer a monthly payment plan because then I know I've got that money um, coming in. And this is what I apply that to. So my one-to-one -one coaching, that can be paid monthly. My masterminds, paid monthly. My program, paid monthly. Everything can be paid monthly. Um, and what I also do is time these things, time the launch, time the running of these things to ensure that someone is always paying me every month. So I always know I have a certain amount of money coming in and this really takes the pressure off. And I've, I've worked like this now for a number of years and it, it really works. Okay. Memberships and subscriptions. So everyone talks about memberships uh, like they're the Holy, Holy grail. And when they work, they're amazing, but they're quite hard to build up. Right. So they can take time to build your audience and get people paying. Um, and particularly when, you know, people are only paying like 20 quid a month or something, you need a lot of people in there to make quite a lot of money. Um, so building up that audience um, and understanding that it may not be profitable in the beginning is really important. But once it does work, it is phenomenal. You also need to think about churn rate. So basically, um, how long people stay in, you know, an average churn rate could be between th three and six months. So you always need to be recruiting and marketing and bringing new people into the membership site. But as I said, when they work, they work. They're really, really good um, for that kind of that consistent monthly income. And then finally, not so much an offer, but actually an activity, marketing and evergreen funnels. Now, the way that I do this, excuse me, I've got to take another sip of water. Mm, that's better. The way that I do this, I have something that I call my smart marketing system, which is something I designed last year for my clients who were getting really overwhelmed with their marketing. And marketing is my background. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good with digital marketing. And so I created this system whereby it kind of covered all of the essential elements to a marketing system, but you could pretty much just repeat it on automatic. So people weren't wasting time on ineffective marketing activities, but they were doing the things that would bring in the relevant leads and convert them. So it's almost like marketing or automatic with a few elements of you actually kind of being involved. It's not entirely passive. It's not like a funnel, but that works really well. And that just continually working brings in those relevant leads through content marketing and everything else that you're doing through the system. And then those leads come in for you to nurture and then convert them into something. So that's always bringing in new leads convert to a sale. So that's kind of passively working in the background. And then, of course, simple sales funnels. Um, people get really scared about sales funnels, but you can create really super simple sales funnels. They don't have to be complicated. You know, the fact of just having a lead magnet or an opt-in, whatever you want to call it, on your website, someone opting into it, going into a nurture sequence in email, sending them a few emails, and then making them an offer, that's a funnel. That's a really simple, easy funnel. So creating those and having those work on automatic, constantly bringing people in, constantly trying to convert them is a great way to get consistent income. And then you can think about fit more in depth funnels as well. So your evergreen program funnels. If you've got a program that you've run before and it works really super, super well, that you can now, now you've proven it and people love it, you can constantly be bringing people in on a funnel through a webinar funnel or something similar, upselling them into the program. This is my next focus. So I'm going to be doing this for my business success bootcamp program, which is simply amazing. Um, and I'm going to be putting that onto an evergreen uh, program funnel, probably in the new year. I'm really excited about doing it. But that's a nice way, again, of just bringing consistent monthly income in as well. Because not only do, um, not only do you keep on bringing new customers in, but then when they buy the thing, they might be on a payment plan. So then they're on a payment plan. So can you see how that works? Like you consistently bring them in and then they're on a payment monthly. So you're continually getting money from them month by month. So it's a really nice way of doing it. So my focus on right now is automated marketing. I've run my smart marketing system all the time. My smart marketing system is actually one of the key things I'm teaching inside of Elevate Mastermind, which starts on the 1st of October. It's a really important activity and it just gets your marketing working so freaking well that it can kind of just work on its own. And the results are, are phenomenal. Make creating a smart customer journey, which is, well, I guess it's kind of like funnels, but for me, it's kind of more intuitive than that. It's, it's being aware of... Um, your whole digital ecosystem and how your customer experiences you. 
And at every touch point in your ecosystem, whether they've signed up for something, whether they hit your website, whether they've read a blog, whether they've listened to a podcast, whether they've hit your Facebook page, like whatever they've done, those are all touch points in your online ecosystem. So if you create super smart, intuitive journeys across that, that take them on a really good journey where they're learning more about you, they're trusting you, they're loving what they read, and then that ends up in a sale. It's a really smart way of doing it. And then they love you. Like it's, it's much nicer to create those kind of journeys and like forcing people through a funnel where they might feel a little bit ick at the end of it. So my focus is on really creating that customer experience and creating good sales funnels as part of that. So I'm, as I've said, I'm going to be focused on doing um, an evergreen funnel, but also bringing in that customer experience as part of that. It's a major part of what I do and what I'm going to be teaching people. Because I think if you create amazing customer experiences, they stay with you. Like some of my masterminders that have just joined Elevate have been with me for two years. And they're not going anywhere. It's because you create that experience. You build that trust. You, you deliver what you promise. So they want to stay with you and grow and grow and grow and evolve with you. And it's, it's about creating that great customer experience. And of course, the other side to that is they recommend you to everyone because you've created that great customer experience. And that's what they've had. And of course, payment plans. As I said, they're a major part of what I do in my business. And every single one of my offers has a payment plan just makes it a lot easier. Um, so all of these things that I've just spoken about are a focus inside my new mastermind, Elevate. Uh, but I am going to talk more about that later. I can't wait. I'm so excited to talk to you about Elevate. It's just amazing. All right. So doing this stuff, because th this stuff that I've just talked to you about is what I teach all the time, right? And this is what I taught in my business success bootcamp. That's what I teach in all my other masterminds. And these are the kind of results that it has. Jackie said, this is hands down the most powerful and transformative program I've ever done. I'm amazed at how much clarity and alignment I've stepped into. Literally makes me want to cry every time I read that. I am so sorry. Um, Kirsty said, I've been wading my way through the thick, sticky mug, mud, can't speak now, you see, I'm too moved, uh, surrounded by dense fog, the fog has lifted and the future is clearly visible. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the third one. How to map out, map out <laughs> I can't speak now, how to map out your income streams to reach your big financial goal. So this is important as well, right? Just knowing what your offers are and knowing they're relevant to your customers ain't enough. You want to smash your income goal, whatever that goal is, right? It doesn't matter what the goal is. It doesn't have to be a massive goal for you to smash it. It can be a tiny goal, as worthy of smashing as a big goal. But <laughs> you don't know yet that you can actually do it. You know you got some offers, you know you got a goal, but you don't know actually if these offers are going to get you to that goal. And that disconnect as well is normally what I see in customers and clients when they come to me and that needs fixing. So this is where the income planning comes in and it does get some amazing results. So first of all, you need to work out your annual target, right? Whatever that is, doesn't matter what it is. It could be 20K a year, 50K a year, 100K a year, half a million a year, whatever it is, work out that annual total income so your revenue right your revenue into your business work out what that is then list your income streams and their pricing then what you need to do is map out when those things are going to be on sale so whether you're launching something or whether you're current uh, constantly offering it so really mapping out okay when am i launching that thing when, when am I going to be selling those things? Am I going to be selling them every single month? Am I selling it every other month? Am I going to do two launches a year? So really getting clear on that. And then you can plot it out into the income planner spreadsheet, which as I've said, if you stay to the end, I'm going to give you a copy of this. I've got a little link here ready to go. So you can grab it. So this is what it looks like. It's just a spreadsheet. It's nothing fancy. And what you do in it, you just plot in your income streams there, look down the, this, this is just an example, by the way, you'd plot in your income streams down the left-hand side, you put their price, you put the target sale per month, you can also put the target sale per launch. And basically what you're doing is working out how many of that thing you need to sell to get to your total annual revenue. 
So if you if it, if you're adding this up here, let's say that my target was 100k, right? And I've plotted all of this stuff out. This has only got me to 73k. So I'm going to fall short. So I need to go back and go, okay, well, you know what? I need to up it. What do I do? Maybe my four month coaching, I need to have a target of four per month. Maybe I need to put up the price of my program. Maybe I need to try and sell more of my memberships. So really working out the number of the things that you have to sell to reach that income is important. So you play around with the numbers, right? Until you've got your 100K here, and then you know how many of these things you need to sell to get there. And what that does, it shows you how many you have to sell, but then that drives your sale and sales and your marketing because your marketing needs to be completely targeted to these numbers. You know that when you're launching that program in May, you've got to sell 15. So your marketing has to bring in enough people to do that. And you can look at your stats, you can look at your list, your conversion rates, you can look at your social media numbers and work out, okay, you know what? To get to 15, I don't have enough people. Let's bring some more people into the list because then it might work. So it really drives the activity that you're, you're carrying out. It also, like when you're in a launch, if you know you have to make 15 to meet your annual target, and let's say you're coming to the end of a launch and you've only sold 10, it gives you a kick up the ass, right? To go, right, I've only got another five to get in. I am doing this. And then you go all at it. So it's a really important activity. And this drives everything in my business. Like knowing what I have to sell, how much I have to sell really helps me to understand all the other stuff that I'm doing. So it's a super, super important um, activity for you. Um, and what it does is it helps you to see if what you're thinking of is feasible or whether your income goal is a pipe dream or reality, because you can start to bring in all the other stuff that you've been thinking about. So if you're thinking, right, my pricing is right everything else is right. I've only got this amount of days to work. And actually, what I've put on the income planet isn't bringing it out at my yearly target, then I might need to bring my yearly target down because I've only got two days a week. And I don't want to burn out and I want a little bit of time for the family. So it makes you rethink all those numbers and create a plan that's feasible for you. And this plan is what goes into your business strategy. And this, this is what First two weeks, actually, in Elevate, this is what we're going to be focusing on, really digging into this stuff and getting it right, because this is the core foundation of your business and allows you to grow and makes you go in the right direction instead of faffing around and wasting time and not getting the results you want. It shows you exactly which products and services you need to be focusing your sales and marketing efforts on. So, you know, quite often I will see people, oh, my God, they are they're focusing all of their efforts on one thing that brings in 20 quid a month and not nearly as much on something that could bring in 2k a month and it's like that doesn't make sense focus all your effort on the other one so that you can get lots of that in and not so much on the thing that's lower priced so it really helps you to see where you should be focusing your effort and it gives you monthly targets to compare to your actual results because you need to have those and report on those and think about those. And like I said, if you stay to the end, you're going to get a copy of that income planet spreadsheet. So you can start planning away to your heart's content. Now, as I said, this stuff is important. It's super important. Um, and the reason why it's important, I want to share some stats with you because this, this is scary, but important, right? I looked at some stats on businessinsider.com. It was earlier this year, right? And it was small business stats. And I was looking at the kind of the success of small businesses and it, and it, and it wasn't very nice reading. So basically it said that 82% um, of small business owners have cash flow problems. 82%. 42% <laughs> still. 42 find there's no market need for their products or services. Exactly what I was talking about at the beginning, right? Doing that research, making sure that there's a need for it. Really important. 42%. They go out with something that's not even needed. 29% run out of cash. Big one. Big, 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 big one. 23% don't have the right team. Super important when you're scaling. I am blessed with the best team. Carmel is on tonight. Um, I've had 
Carmel and Dara with, and Amy with me for three years. And I, I'm incredibly lucky. But it's easy to get it wrong. 23% don't have the right team. Getting the right team is super important. Again, this is what I'm teaching inside of Elevate. How to grow and outsource and scale properly. Because that is really important. 19% are outcompeted. Again, not doing the research, not understanding their customers, not understanding the market, all important stuff. These are the horrible ones. 20% fail in the first year, 20%. 34% fail in the second year, 50% fail in the fifth year. I'm in my fifth year. And as you saw from my stats, I am failing. I'm growing. This is why I want to teach it, right? This is why I want to help other business owners to do what I've done, because I don't want this to happen to you guys. Super important. But if you get it right, if you get all the stuff right, then you won't just be another statistic like these guys. I hope that was useful. That's, that's some big ass training. I, I thought about what I was going to do when I was talking to you guys about consistent income. And I could have just shared how you create consistent income and what um, revenue streams you need but I wanted to touch on that other stuff the research piece the money piece because it's all super super important it's really really important and I know for some of you everything that you've learned because there's some key actionable takeaways in this so for some of you this will be enough you'll be able to take it away and action what you've got and these they will improve your income if you action what you've learned today but I know there are a few of you watching right here right now who want more because I've been talking about all the other stuff that I can be doing, right? Because you really want to boost that income. And it's super important to boost that income because you have big dreams like we all do. So for you guys, I'm going to ask you this. If there was an opportunity to reach those big income goals, to bring those big dreams to life, to make those things on your vision board, mine is there, happen, without wasting money, time and energy on all the wrong things, which let's face it, most of us do in the early years of business, right? And the outcome was a business you're fully aligned with, with all this stuff I've been talking about here and the income and profit, because that's super important as well. The profit is the thing that makes your dreams happen and everything you need to make it all like work, like clockwork. Would you take it? because now you can I feel like I should have a fanfare there ba, ba, ba. <laughs> elevate as I alluded at the beginning is my 12 month mastermind that will take you from stumbling to soaring frazzled to focused and striving to thriving without losing your money your mojo or your mind I said it I thought I was going to stumble over that mm. it's a business incubator that's going to give you the time and the space to grow at your pace and this is really super important i've been running masterminds for three years and people do go at different paces you know you've got the 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 <laughs> the speedy people that just like they learn it they implement it they go then you've got the methodical people that need to go at a slower pace both get the same results eventually so there's no better or worse but people need to go at their own pace so that's why i've built a 12 month mastermind because it's a really safe container that allows everyone to do just that. And it's a business accelerator that's really going to help you to accelerate and create that sustainable growth that you need in your business, the kind of sustainable growth that I showed you from my stats at the beginning. Honestly, it's my best mastermind yet. It really is. And here is why. I've basically pulled together all the feedback from all my other masterminders um, and my clients to create something that I know you guys need. And I've based it on what they've been telling me. So I've used all the frameworks and the methods that I've used to, to create this. Um, all of this stuff helped me to create a six figure business within two years or being a single mom with a newborn baby, only working a few days a week, a potential half a million this year a team that's been with me for three years, business systems that run like clockwork and the ability to take school breaks off to be a mum without worrying about income, which is magical. I swear to God, it's magical. Um, in Elevate, we focus, we really focus on income and profit. That's what I've learned. That's what I've learned from my clients. That's the thing that was holding them up the most. They needed the income 
to be able to slow down and relax a little bit and then do all the other stuff that they want to do. So creating that revenue and then making sure that there's a profit from that so they can do the other stuff is super, super important to me because this is the stuff that brings your dreams to life um, and makes those things on your vision board a reality. So basically what I've designed is I do everything in 90 day chunks. If you've ever seen any of my training, I'm a big 90 day planner. So everything is like in, in 90 day chunks. It, it makes so much sense. It makes so much more done, so much quicker. Um, so what I've done is I've designed two income tracks that I run throughout Elevate. That in your group, you can choose either one of those income tracks. You can either be launching, so creating something and launching it, going through my launch framework, getting all the support you need to launch, or if you're not launching, you can go through the consistent income track. And in that, it's all about my smart marketing system and creating funnels. So every 90 days, you'll always be working on those things because you need to be bringing in the income and always been working on those things alongside all of the other stuff that you're doing, the actual serving your clients, running the business. So we have those in place so you can easily and simply do it following all of my frameworks, all of my systems. There's a really clear structure that helps you to do that. That is at the core of Elevate. Uh, we also have theme months because it's not all about understanding that, right? So we have theme months where you learn the essentials for creating sustainable growth in your business. Things like strategy, mindset, money mastery, I was talking about earlier, positioning, messaging, marketing, sales, content, getting visible, systems, self-care, equally important, outsourcing and anything else. So we have theme months where you're learning all of those other essential elements that are going to help you to grow a robust, sustainable business. And you'll also be matched with like-minded women at your skill and income level for true masterminding. Now, what I found is people really do need that. You need to be matched at the right level so that you feel supported and you can evolve and grow with your group. And that's super important, I think, particularly if you're with people for 12 months. So I have different groups at different levels where I can do that. So I can match people and I am handpicking people and matching people based on that. I'm quite good at I attract some very good people into my masterminds and, and I'm, I'm good at putting the right people together. It's a gift. Um, you are supported by me, of course, because I'm a control freak. So you get me every week for weekly Q&A calls live in your group and also a big two hour um, in-depth coaching um, on your business, uh, group coaching for your group once a month as well. So there's lots of me in there as well as an Elevate coach who will have a specialist skill set to support you in another area that's really important to you. So you get me and them, and they're going to be sort of facilitating your Facebook group every day and making sure you guys are supported and okay and have everything that you need. And they're going to be fully trained in my structure and, and everything else. So we really focus on mindset strategy and taking inspired action, just like my framework says. That is kind of, that's what I do. Um, and I apply all three of those things to everything that I do and it gets fantastic results. Like all of my offers have the MSA approach and they really do get some great results. But don't just believe me. These are what some of my other clients said. So Rachel said she was a blessing that came into my life at the right time. If you get a chance to have her in your life and your business, grab it. You won't regret it. Olivia said Gemma gets you to answer the hard questions, to dig deep, to bring out your unique message and learn how to grow. Jackie said we looked at our why and learned that Gemma is a genius. Love that one. Uh, she takes the same business exercises you've done tons of time and adds a level of depth that brings inspiration. Max said, I'm amazed at the changes I can see in my business. Gemma looks at so many different aspects and how they all interact. It makes so much sense. Karen said, if you have the opportunity to work with her, grab it with both hands and don't let go. Help you change your life. And Tracy said, her methods and framework for getting out of overwhelm and into action are awesome. Her ideas and direction are invaluable. Her generosity, her listening, her love are unparalleled. Oh cry um and there are many more of those so you know this isn't just me blowing my own trumpet i've got some really good results and great feedback um from my clients uh, but you're probably more concerned about your own results right so these are the kind of results you could get if you do join the income and the impact that you desire we really focus on that and there's a lot of support and structure focused on that a robust business strategy aligned with you specifically and your growth that you want the self-belief to bring your business and life dreams to reality um belief is a major part of my work um i have the belief matrix that i mentioned earlier 
I honestly believe myself that if you build that self-belief, if you believe absolutely in your business and your office, so will your customers and clients. And if you don't believe it, they won't either. And then they won't buy it. So building that belief for me is the first thing. Once I have that in you, then all the other stuff is easy. The strategy, the action taking, it's easy once you believe in yourself. So it's a massive, massive focus of my work. The confidence to get visible and reach more people. So we really focus on visibility and I know how icky that can feel, but we focus on doing that in a way that's aligned with you and you feel freaking awesome about it because that's when it feels natural and that's when people just gravitate towards you and you, you become magnetic to your ideal client. Easy to follow systems that make running your business a breeze. We want that, right? Systems and automation make it easy. So we do that. And this is what you get in it. So a 12-month mastermind focused on sustainable growth, training and support to increase your income and profit, the structure to go at your own pace, weekly access to me to ask questions, monthly deep dive coaching from me, a Facebook group with your Elevate squad, an Elevate coach to support you daily, two virtual events, ah, two one-day virtual events. That's going to be amazing. I can't wait to do these. And da, 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 one in-person event. So we can actually be live together and hug and everything. So excited about that. Um, now, lots of people think I should be charging more for this. But if you know me, you know that my, um, my big focus this year was on creating more impact. And for me, that's like creating deeper impact with people. So deeper transformational changes, but also broad impact and impacting more people. So I'm trying to make what I offer far more accessible. Um, and that really is shown in my pricing. Um, this is it. The VIP option. You see, we've got VIP and VIP plus. You are all VIPs to me. So there's no standard. There's just VIP and VIP plus. So VIP is £496 a month. That's it. Boom. Nothing else. VIP plus, if you want direct one-to-one -one support with me, you can choose VIP plus and have one one-to-one -one session with me a month on top of the other stuff. For 886 pounds a month um plus these bonuses oh so many bonuses so the first 20 to book the vip option and and by the way quite a lot have gone i've got 10 signed up already 10 eight of vip two of vip plus I'm so excited so the first 20 to book vip option get a one-to-one -one with me that you can have straight away so we can really dive into your business. Bonus two, the first three to book the VIP plus option, get a business review. So I'm going to dive into your business, see what's not working, give you an improvement review. Bonus three, how to deal with objections from Kendrick Shope. That's some super special training from Kendrick. Bonus four, membership of my Simply Smart Business Academy. Bonus five, the Blockbuster Mindset Toolbox. If you get any resistances or blocks, this is amazing. Bonus six, the business strategy workbook and training to use forever and ever and ever, uh, which will really help you to review your business strategy every year and create a strategy to, to focus on for that year. Bonus seven is my mothership, which is my selection of spreadsheets that I use to run my business. You can have them to run yours. Bonus eight, 50% discount on the Leaders Rising intensive. This is something I'm running with Rebecca Bass. I won't talk about it now because we're probably talking for far too long already. But go and check it out. It's amazing. And bonus nine is a surprise I'm going to announce soon. And all of that for just 496. That's all you have to pay right now. Now, you could decide to do nothing and keep running after bad advice, hoping to crack the code to business success. Uh, but we all know that that's a one-way ticket to failure. You could try to do all of this stuff yourself and try to work it out for yourself. It might work, but I doubt it. Or you could join Elevate and have the support and guidance you need over 12 months and breathe a sigh of relief and just be like, oh, thank God, someone else has got me. They can, they can show me exactly what to do and then I can smash all my goals makes sense right now that will get you exactly where you need to be even if investing in this scares the bejesus out of you right now so the choice is yours you can either have the vip option you can have a vip plus and if you want to check it out go here gemmawent.co.uk forward slash elevate which carmel i think oh she's on it tonight carmel has shared that is it, my darlings. I'm not going to go on about Elevate anymore. You can tell how excited I am. It's the best thing that I've ever, ever created. If you're interested, please go and check it out. Read the sales page. 
if it really lights your fire, which I, it's doing that for lots of people, I'm getting so many applications, I'm absolutely thrilled, um, then just apply. Applying doesn't mean that you're actually signing up. Applying means that you're going to fill in a form, I'm going to read it, and I'm going to decide whether or not I think it's perfect for you, because I won't, I won't let you in unless I think it's absolutely going to help you to reach your goals. And then from that, I will make you an offer or not, and then you can decide if you want to jump in. So please do apply because then at least I can start that conversation with you. And if you have any questions about it while you're on the sales page, um, bottom right corner is a little chat box. So um, either myself or Carmel are normally there. Not in the evening though, so you won't be there tonight. It'll be uh, normally between sort of 10 and five. Uh, so if you have any questions, um, you can ask us about Elevate there. But for now, thank you for sticking with me for so long. I am gonna share the income planner. Do you guys have any questions? whack them in the chat so any questions about the training the um coming up with those offers that are aligned with you and your clients the coming up with the consistent income offers or the income planning whack your questions in the chat i'm just going to grab that link now so for you guys that have stayed and been amazing you can grab it just make sure that you save a copy because it's a it's a google spreadsheet there you go i've popped it into chat Calm, will you pop that into Facebook comments for those people that are on Facebook um, still with us as my little thank you for staying with me. Right, my darlings, any questions? I think this is running quite slowly. So I might wait for a couple of minutes to see if your questions get through, but just whack your questions in the chat and I will answer them for you. Did that make sense? Also guys, any ahas for you? Like any kind of moments where you're like, oh my God, I've got a real light bulb moment. Great to hear that. Just whack them in the chat. Carmel, are there any questions on Facebook? Pop them into Slack and I can answer those as well. I'm just gonna go into Facebook myself, see if I can find anyone. Okay, fab. Don't think there are. All right, my lovelies. Well, listen, if there are no questions, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you want to go and check out Elevate, please do. Any questions, you can just send me um, questions through the chat box in there. And if you um, have anything else you want to share with me after this, come and find me in my Facebook group. So if you watch this tonight and you've got any questions or anything, then come into Simply Smart Business and then ask me in there because I'm, I'm in there every day. Oh, Claire, hello. I didn't know you were here. Hi. Uh, Claire said, yes, having systems for peace of mind, re-income monthly. Yeah. Right. Was that a light bulb moment? Super important. Super important. Just takes that stress off, right? Helen, thank you. Thank you for joining me and sticking it out to the end, my lovely. I appreciate that. On an evening as well. It's 8.30 here in the UK. Thank you, guys. Nice to hear back from you. All right. I will leave you all to it. As I said, you can chase me down with any other questions that you have. But thank you so much for joining me. Um, there we are. Hello, I'm back. Uh, I shall catch you all hopefully tomorrow. <laughs>